On today's installment of Big Al's Garage, the moment you have all been waiting for. How y'all doing? Welcome to another installment of Big Al's Garage. Oh, you have all been asking for it, and finally, tonight, we are back with the 65 Chevy Corvair. So for those of you who have uh, been following along, I'll just do a brief recap. A little over a month ago, the thing broke down, left me stranded on the side of the road, did a compression test on the number two cylinder, no compression, did a boroscope check, found damage to the piston head, diagnosis, drop valve seat, which Corvairs with 140 motors are unfortunately prone to doing. So I have to swap the cylinder heads. That job is going to happen tomorrow when my father comes up, hopefully, if we don't find more damage inside the cylinder. So tonight we are going to start with the initial teardown. The carburetors and fuel pump have to come off, the side shroud has to come off, spark plugs have to come out, the oil cooler has to come off, carb studs have to come out, and the rear grill has to come off too. It's a long list, it's late, let's get to it. Okay, first things first, let's take care of the carbs and the fuel pump. Gonna need a half inch for the uh, fuel pump bolt itself and a 9 16 on the fuel pump. Loosen the tensioner, pull the belt off, oil filler cap has to come off also, and I've got a new seal for that also from Rafi Corvair. I should go ahead and put in. Oh, let's disconnect the throttle linkage first, and then it should come right in. All is one piece. Okay, now the alternator. These are 916s. Why is it that loose after just pulling one bolt out? Jeez, no wonder. Is that one never bit in? Alright, well. To the fun we had with the Corolla the other day, I am never going to complain about this alternator again. Hey, I marked how far in it was screwed before I started taking this out. These plug wires, they need to come out. Bolts. 
foil cooler bolts. These are 5 eighths, 3 eighths I mean, pointed ends. Now we've got another big one on the front that has got to come off. Let us bank that that is a 9 sixteenths. It is, but I'm not going to be able to turn the ratcheting wrench on. That's for sure. There's no way I'm going to be able to get the impact in there. My catch pan ready for this. Hold that thought. Okay, now that I got the oil catch pan ready, this moose of a bolt comes out. That should free the oil cooler. Probably not make a monumental mess. Still, it's stuck in here. This little plate. That got it. Hey, side shroud removal. One bolt. There's another bolt underneath, a couple of bolts underneath, so I'm going to have to get another tripod for y'all. Alright, so slight change of plans. We really need to take over that back crossover pipe before we get to work underneath the car, taking off that shroud. Let's do that now. You've got to loosen up those clamps, take out a couple bolts, and we are off to the races on this. Will you be a 3 eighths? Yes. in the Phillips head screws. I forgot about that. Getting it in was not pleasant. Let's hope getting it out is... shroud off and then I think we're at a stopping point for the night. Okay, back taking the rear shroud off and the side shroud. There is the last bolt that should be holding this thing on and it is going to be a nightmare to get. I can tell the shroud's loose. Trying not to put my head in the oil pan while I do this. 
try a different angle of attack here. Sometimes the angle of attack just makes all the difference. One of these days I will learn to wear eye protection. Now, can we just pop this thing out yet, or what? Yeah. It's moving. We got one bolt stopping us, and it's right here near the car base. We got, we. I'll be darned, it's not the 3 eighths either. It is a seven sixteenths. That should allow the thing to come out. Here we go. Oh, spark plugs need to come out too. What am I saying? We're not done yet. Now, almost got it. I have taken it before. <clears throat> there you go. Spark plug removal takes a 13 16 spark plug socket. Well, this will make a lot of old-time Corvair guys gasp and horror. That's one. Number two plugs already out. And here goes the number six. Okay. You need to just stay out of the way, Mr. Vacuum Line. You're being annoying. Okay. That is all the disassembly I plan on doing tonight. All right. Tomorrow, we attack the head bolt. All right. So I'm at a stopping point for tonight. I have done most of the major disassembly. Tomorrow, oh, what's our head? we hopefully get the head off and inspect the damage. Hopefully it's just a matter of take this head off, put the other head back on, put a new valve cover gasket in, and we're good. If not, well, then we may have a bigger problem. We may have to do more disassembly. We may have to get a new piston, new rings, and a whole cylinder. I really hope it doesn't come to that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you will like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.